Draft Express here at Impact Basketball with Kendall Gray. Just finished up ASM Pro Day. Kendall, how do you think you performed today? Uh, I started off a little, a little slow, but then I picked it up. Uh, just started to show my athletic ability, and then everything started to follow suit. You know, just rebounding, blocking shots, and just uh, getting put back dunks. That's that's my strength. So it started uh, to go, go well. A lot of high-level players here, you know, some lottery picks. Um, you're out of Delaware State, maybe one of the lesser-known guys. Uh, what are you out to prove, and um, what do you think you were able to show? Uh, I'm the underdog, of course, just coming from Delaware State. Uh, nobody really knows about me, but, you know, just showing that my energy and effort is, is enough to uh, – be, be good at this level. You know, going against these guys every day, they, they push me and I push them just, uh, just as well. So, you know, I'm just going at it like every day is my last and just an underdog mentality. For people watching this video who maybe don't know much about you as a player, how would you describe yourself? Uh, my game, just uh, energetic, athletic, um, you know, tenacious around the basket, just, uh, just going after it. You know, I was one of the leading rebounders in the country. So that's that's my skill, that's my specialty, just going after rebounds, and every team needs a rebounder. So 6'10", 240, yeah. high motor, how do you end up at, at Delaware State? Uh, I was a late bloomer. You know, I ended up growing like eight or nine. I started off uh, my freshman year at 5'10". I ended up growing like uh, eight inches by the time I was a senior in high school. So Delaware State was the only uh, scholarship that offered me at that time, and I just made the most of it. So how? What was that process like? Um, yeah, I, mean, I assume you played a point guard or, or a guard position? Or? Delaware is such a small state, so I was probably still one of the biggest guys like my freshman year. <laughs> and then uh, once the year started, people started getting more taller and more competitive. So then, you know, I always played the big, but I knew just being around guards so much, I learned everything that guards do. So that helped me out a lot with my footwork and my uh, just not being slow footed. <laughs> Is it tough to adjust just your body, and, you know, growing so quickly? Is it hard to kind of know how you can move when, when you grow so quickly? Uh, it was just a lot of knee pains. But other than that, everything was uh, the same as, as if I was 5'10". You know, nothing really changed but my height. So uh, that's a blessing. What are the biggest areas you think you still have room to improve upon to maximize your full potential? Uh, definitely on the offensive end. Um, I'm definitely a raw talent, you know. The 15 foot jump shot. Uh, that's basically it. basically it. Just on the offensive end, I got so much ability that I'm capable of, and it's just once I get with the right people and the right development, it's going to be the sky's the limit. When did you start playing basketball, and why? I uh, started playing around like eighth grade, and I wasn't really a big basketball because I was I was a fat chubby kid, so I didn't really want to get into sports. But then, you know, my mom she always played basketball, so and my brother well. My family just it was big sports, so just going out there and just um, just getting active. I always always watch the game, but just going out there and getting active. That's when I really started eighth grade. Is there anyone you'd like to watch and try and model your game after a little bit? I'm a big fan of Tristan Thompson right now. He's he just go gets it and he's about to get paid for it. So you know that's that's basically what my job will be at the next level. So I just I just look at him and just know that there's a job out there for you. Where do you see yourself five years down the road? Five years down the road, uh, just being a contributor in the NBA. You know, um, people say all the time, you can play in the NBA, you can play in the NBA, but it's just be going out there. I just don't want to play. I want to actually go in there and contribute. Great. Thanks so much.